Uh, just before, you know, behind the scenes, you yes. and I, we were chatting and you said something. Uh -huh. Cavello, you said that people are not practical when buying property. Big statement, KB. Let's hear a little bit more about that. Well, essentially, Esti, you know, the reason why some people are not practical in what they're choosing is they don't have the fundamental idea of what exactly they're looking for. They want something modern, but they don't choose the area. You know, they, they want something practical in order of, of investing and they don't choose the correct area. Mm. So that's exactly what I meant. So what essentially happens if somebody decides to buy a place, let's say, for example, Pretoria, but they choose the other side of Pretoria, the end of Pretoria, and then they think that investment return will come back to them. Essentially, it doesn't happen that way mm. because areas change. You know, areas change. People come in that are not of a certain caliber yeah. and they can destroy an area. So that's what I mean by practicality is very important. Mm. If you want something modern, know where you want modern. Have the budget for modern because it's very important. Yeah. It's essential. Because I was about to ask, what would you say are the tools or skill set that a young investor would need to have to have this practical mindset? Location, number one, mm -hmm. and have an idea as to where most businesses are going or headed to. Uh, Santon is a, is, a, is a business hub. It's known as a business hub. Yeah. People like to live in Santon, work in Santon. However, Santon has its drawbacks. It has its drawbacks. Mm. So as somebody wanting to be practical, you got to know where most people like to live. Location, location, and I'll punt it as much as I want to. Yeah. Location is important. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I was so excited to have you on the show because one of the important or something that I've also been, you know, like an internal battle with myself is do I rent or do I buy? And ladies and gentlemen, that is the topic of this evening. Do we rent or do we buy? That is my question to you, KB. What would you suggest? Buying mm -hmm. if you want to invest, mm -hmm. renting if you're thinking of relocating. How do I know if I'm going to relocate? Well, it depends on your job, mm -hmm. what type of job you do. As you have seen, Esti, I'm sure you have noticed that in this time and era of 2020, 2021, mm -hmm. we have seen a lot of people going online. Other people are downsizing. Others are deciding that, you know, I can't afford the rental anymore. So what's the best way of doing it? I decide to go home. I live with my parents and then restart again. Mm -hmm. However, though, it doesn't end there because not everybody has parents to move back to. Right. Let us remember that. Yeah. You know, others actually think about, you know what? I can't, can't pay this rent anymore. It's too expensive. Mm. My salary, number one. Number two, if I want to buy a property, I need to look at various factors. Yeah. You know? Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Thank you.